Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall in Northern California. Thursday, August 10th, 1137, and that's Pacific Standard Time. So here are my thoughts and uh, insight into the North Korea escalation. A couple of things, and I'll be brief in this video and get right to the point. A couple of things I know from sources that I don't want to cite for certain reasons is one is that the, their best option, quote, best option of all options, aside from the nuclear option, is to use B-1 bombers to take out their missile sites. And, and interestingly, there's a, there's a person on here who sends me messages from time to time who's been out there and he's been watching these B-1 bombers fly over him. He watches, he, similar to me, he lives near an air base and you can see them flying and what they're flying. He's in the same situation, except he's uh, in South Dakota. And he sees them flying. So I think it was about two months ago, he began to tell me that he was now seeing B-1 bombers flying low above his house there in South Dakota. And he said that was very rare for someone who lived there and watched the sky. That was rare to see that. And he saw it twice. Today I find information out that... Uh, that squadron that's flying B-1 bombers above him in South Dakota is the 37th, 37. I'm going to say it again, the 37th bomb squadron. You can just Google 37 ESB, Expeditionary Bomb Squadron. I think that stands for EEBS, Bomb Squadron. And, um, and you'll find information on that in their location. The second thing I've, I've been uh, brought to knowledge of is that uh, there are many people that are being deployed out of Hawaii under a, a, a specific marine squadron that does evacuations and have trained for evacuations of personnel at em embassies and such. That's public record. They're being sent to South Korea immediately immediately and so what I believe and what I'm discerning is going to happen is that their latest threat is to shoot four missiles towards Guam after President Trump gave them the the fiery uh, speech of unlike never seen before uh, they gave this announcement that they're going to shoot four missiles at Guam mid-month, which would begin in, in approximately five days from now. Not very long. So here's the issue as I see it, and I have a little more information to share, but to give you a visual, so here, here is Guam. It's a U.S. territory. And um, there's been a lot of military flights in and out of Guam in the last 24 hours, including flights from very high intelligence officials out of Japan and so here's Guam keep that in mind in order to fly missiles over towards Guam they have to go over Japan and Japan is now deploying anti-missile Patriot batteries and they also have to to fly along part of South Korea if you if you look at a map so so the, the trajectory would go like this. And so they've been, they've been dropping him here in the, what's called the economic zone of the Sea of Japan here. And so, so, and so when they do that, they fly west of South Korea and threaten Japan. But now the escalation is they have threatened and are waiting on a simple command to do so to launch four missiles at the same time out of North Korea to the to the west of South Korea over Japan 
and for them to land approximately 30 to 40 kilometers short of Guam. You see the problem? You see how other countries are involved? So I, I don't expect uh, that to go. Uh, I, I expect that uh, we would preempt that or act immediately upon it. So either preempt it, which is being discussed right now. Actually, there's a security uh, intelligence and security meeting taking place, I think, right now with the vice president and the president on this issue right now, both of them which is rare for an afternoon in DC because they're very busy. They have their meetings in the morning. So that's taking place now. And um, so a ground, what would, what would it look like is to extrapolate and evacuate all of our the people to safety using uh, ground forces at the same time taking out all of their missile sites and intelligence and possibly you know using cyber warfare and, and they could go black and and vice versa against the United States right and so the latest uh, the latest information so it'd be a ground warfare and flying bombers and the thing that's coming to my mind again is a desert storm type action you know I, I lived through and and uh, watched closely Desert Storm. It wasn't really even a war, it was just a quick battle. But the scenario after this strike, because I'm going to tell you, as a man of God, I'm going to tell you we will strike North Korea. It's just a matter of what weapons will we use. It's come down to just a matter of that. And so let me, let me show you this latest statement I found from our uh, Secretary of Defense here, Mattis. This just posted, I want to say, about three minutes ago and why I'm making this video. So this is uh, the, the Secretary of Defense, who's actually in a meeting right now with the Vice President Pence and, and President Trump. It says the, the DPRK, and that's North Korea, should cease any consideration of actions that would lead to the end of its regime, end of its regime, and the destruction of its people. See, now that doesn't, that goes along the, the fiery uh, statement by Trump. And um, it, it's pretty clear the message we're sending is, is we're going to hit hard. And so what weapon would we use? I do not believe, I just want people that listen to me to know, I do not believe that we would hit them with nuclear weapon in, uh, initially. I believe we'll we'll just do a desert storm uh, shock and awe bombing campaign, but the the problem with that, from from uh, sea, just to be clear, from sea, air, and land, an assault, but that would not stop the threat permanently, and so it would have what would occur after the shot was fired, the shot was fired, because North Korea will not stand down. They they're. They've been backed into a corner with these, the toughest sanctions I've ever seen placed on anybody, but sanctions haven't worked with North Korea. Talking hasn't worked with North Korea, so. And I, I also, I just want to say this. I have a video earlier in the year where they were planning this. I said that they were planning this, that they were in the, the, in the false flag planning event of an escalation of world war. That would lead to the biggest false flag this world has ever seen. Now, I, as a former member of the military, I believe we should strike. That's I think we should strike in some fashion. Where it escalates to is the question. Not if this is going to happen anymore, but how it escalates. If it escalates to nuclear, our world will change forever. And so God's will be done. Just some information here. <clears throat> God's will be done. Let's go get the latest Twitter info before I sign off. Uh, <clears throat> we also, I want to say this, we also have laser weapons. And I've been looking really closely at these laser weapons. They can use, be used also, the, the laser, from sea, air, and land. And that's what we're going to see. And this is the statement you're seeing from our Secretary of Defense very recently. Now let's go get the latest laser weapons 
And if it's a nuclear weapon, that startled me for a second. So meanwhile, as I said concerning the false flag, the national emergency is now on opioid abuse, not North Korea. It's bizarre, but here, here's another statement coming from Trump. Trump remarks on fire and fury statement today saying maybe the statement wasn't tough enough. He said, get your act together or it will be trouble like few nations I've ever seen. Okay, so this is a confirmation coming in. I believe we're going to see this uh, sometime. Maybe statement wasn't tough enough. Reported yesterday. U.S. officials had suffered physical... So oh, that's the Cuban thing. That's a whole other story. So I want to end this video and tell you we might, we're going to see sea, air, and land. Uh, I believe B-1 bombers will be involved. It could escalate to laser and nuclear. And uh, the direction it'll go is where God says it's going to go. And, uh, and those instructions are found in the Bible. God bless you all.